Welcome back. Thanks for checking out this video. We're going to be looking at the latest offering from Crate Club. This is their general. I will have all the information down in the description box uh, if you would like to check out Crate Club. Uh, a very uh, interesting uh, company. Uh, they, it is not a monthly, it is a quarterly uh, delivery and they have had some of the some of some of the cooler stuff that I have seen. Uh, okay, first thing in uh, in this box was the Southern Survival uh, climbing carabiners. Uh, I have another set of these. They are very well made, and they are they are designed to hold a lot of weight. Again, you can. Uh, Screw it to screw them up to uh, lock them, otherwise down. And they're spring open, spring spring loaded to open. Probably one of the heaviest duty ones I've ever I've ever ever had my hands on. But then again, I I don't do repelling or anything like that. So take that uh, for for what it is. Uh, next is the uh, GTFO wrist strap. It is set up so that you could uh, use it like a like a bracelet, but it gives you the ability to. Uh, it has a titanium tip on it, so you can use it as a as a glass breaker. They also mentioned something about opening handcuffs. What's that all about? Huh. So that, I don't have a set of handcuffs to, uh, to demonstrate, but a glass breaker and, uh, and, and being able to open handcuffs. Hmm. And all as being um, something that you could wear on your wrist. So there you go. Next in is the Gerber Short Stack AR-15 Multi-Tool. I've been, uh, check, been checking this out and I actually find this uh, very interesting. First of all, it is designed in a size platform that this will fit in like the uh, MOE uh, Magpul uh, grips. You have a rubber bit holder here. I believe uh, that one would be, of course, a screwdriver, but the other one would be the same setup as the uh, M-lock uh, fasteners on the, for the rail. Then once you have that in your hand, the rest of it is basically held together uh, by, by that cam and magnets. So, and the magnets are the rare earth, so you can just pull the sections apart now, like for this, you can take the uh, the wrench part of it, put it in here, and now you have a buffer wrench, a carbon scraper. It has uh, various uh, things that you can use, like with uh, with your uh, cleaning kit and the cleaning rods. Uh, that right there is what what which what will hold the uh, bits. I see they even have a little uh, detent on those. This end you can use three eighths, three quarter. Like the three quarter would be for your uh, um, like a mu muzzle devices, uh, front sight adjustment tool, and and many more things that are included in this and then the whole thing just slips back together and you can uh, stow it back away uh, with your uh, with your with your rifle the Gerber short stack Let's see. That I like. 
Nothing worse than when you're uh, out at the range and something starts to come apart. We've had shoots where all of a sudden uh, uh, the buffer, uh, the castle nut started to come loose. Next in is the Modern Spartan Systems Firearm Starter Kit. I, uh, as part of full disclosure, I never even opened the kit up till this very moment because I actually use their products. So I already have all this stuff. I love the uh, a a accuracy oil. Then they got the carbon destroyer. They got the uh, copper and lead uh, uh, destroyer. They also include a little of their accuracy grease. I guess if you want to uh, be able to change out any of these over to a spray, they include that, and then their optics cleaner. Use this on my uh, on my scopes. So, I can tell you that these Modern Spartan systems uh, have some uh, excellent excellent uh, products. The next thing is the. Uh, Raptor Razor Mano Knife. Uh, I have not had this one apart because I already have one of these. And without uh, tearing, uh, tearing everything open and uh, moving on, if you are a uh, if you are a hunter and you uh, want to build a get things done out in the field. Uh, they include the screwdriver in the tip. This is, uh, this is to open it up and to uh, replace it with the various uh, various blades. Like you see uh, that one that, that one right there. And then once you uh, installed your blade you can put the handle together depending on if you are a, a lefty or a righty. Uh, this, this side would be best if you're a lefty and uh, what I really liked about it is it is it gave you the ability for being able to to cut uh, through the meat by be, be, being able to get some leverage on it like that and if if you if you're a righty then you just switch this around to the other side uh, so that you would have the dominant side on on that direction and they uh, they in, include should be at least three yep three uh, of the of the smaller blades in the kit and then they also included uh, one of the five inch blades and then a bone saw all I can tell you is it's a very well made kit and anybody that uh, uh, is gonna start uh, doing a field uh, field processing of your of your animal that's something that you will uh, definitely appreciate. Next is a, uh, a knife from Revolt. And it comes uh, set up in this uh, the sheath uh, for uh, the small of your back, Scout Carry. Uh, rubber, rubberized uh, grip. Gives you a nice grip on there. You have partial, partial serrations straight that tanto style it is a uh, extremely sharp out of the box lanyard hole I've uh, I've had one of these uh, I've had one of these before I really liked it and uh, had a friend that uh, wanted something like this if you really wanted to I don't know. It's starting to get a little, a uh, little on the, little on the bulky side, but still, you could uh, remove the belt loops and use it as a uh, neck knife, or you could remove the belt loops and you could uh, uh, tie this off uh, to uh, your pack or something. So you have like a, well, and that, that's from Revolt. And then the last item in in this one is the Greyman Tactical Vehicle Rifle Rack. The 
RMP. Now, I have to say, if, if you're looking for a way to strap uh, a rifles and pistols and magazines and all sorts of stuff down, I I did not know a heck of a lot about uh, what uh, Grayman Tactical had in this setup until going and looking, and they give you so many uh, different options. Uh, you can take this same setup and get the the, uh, the kit that allows you to say mount it on a wall or mount it on the inside of your safe. This one is set. This the kit uh, from uh, Crate Club is specifically set up for being able to have this rack on the back of a vehicle seat. So you have the, the mounting for the bottom of the seat, the mounting for the top or the headrest part, and then they send along uh, the, the kit uh, for the rifle itself. So with this setup as you have it here, you would uh, gain the ability to uh, hang hang a rifle behind the seat in your vehicle, or like I said, just go over to Gray Man, uh, t uh, do a do a search for the RM the the, uh, the RMP, and you'll find that there is so many other options that they have for this setup, and uh, uh, overall, if you got this uh, crate club. Uh, and this was something that you're looking for. You'd probably be pretty happy because uh, they they are not uh, they are not they are not cheap. So, and that that is the last item uh, in Crate Club uh, this month. And again, I will put all of that information down below if you're interested in checking them out. Uh, if you were with them in the past. Um, I don't know the exact uh, logistics of what is going down, but over the last few months, uh, they've uh, they've had a rebirth of the uh, of the company, and I know they were they are under the uh, under the thumb, and they're being assisted by uh, BattleBox, which explains why most of these kits have been just extremely awesome. Hell, last month I got a Sig Sauer uh, Red Dot. Uh, Awesome, incredible. So, all the all the information will be will be down below if you want to go check out uh, Crate Club. Otherwise, I appreciate you checking out this video. Uh, thank you, Crate Club. Uh, another uh, another uh, good month. I uh, I'm not sure. I uh, I'm interested in trying this on the uh, the, the the back of the seat of my vehicle. I'm also I'm also thinking about ordering the kit to uh, add this. Uh, to the inside door of my safe, I'll, I'll have to see. I, I believe since since it's already here, I'm gonna give uh, uh, give it a a try as part of putting it together to have uh, in my vehicle. Just all their fasteners and their hardware. They just they're not messing around. I can tell you that. So, and uh, this this will be going in an AR. And uh, if you uh, didn't get the uh, if you didn't get the Crate Club. And you don't plan on getting Crate Club, you can check out these companies uh, individually. I would definitely give uh, Modern Spartan Systems uh, a little look see. Okay, guys, questions, comments, leave them down below. Otherwise, have a fantastic day.